Well, hello. Welcome back to the uh, series on conditional probability. Uh, this is a follow-up to our uh, part three. We had a word problem dealing with conditional probability, and we ended it with a problem that was best done using um, Bayes' theorem. So uh, let's create the uh, tree diagram again because I don't, well, I don't have it here. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with that. So let me pull up a tree diagram. Okay, so here's the tree diagram, and at, at this point, if uh, you have not watched video th or part three, please go do that now, because I'm just going to fill in the uh, tree diagram with all the information we had from that part of the problem. Now that the tree diagram is filled out, I just want to summarize um, using all the set notation that we've learned up to this point. So the probability of someone having a college degree was 0 0.08, where is 0.08? probability that you voted given you had a college degree that's 0 0.80 that's this number right here uh, which means that the probability that you did not vote given you had a college degree would be 0 0.20 then we have the probability that you did not or I'm sorry you do not have a college degree that's 0.92 the probability that you voted given you do not have a college degree that's 0.55 and then the probability that you did not vote given you do not have a college degree that is 0.45 now uh, pause the video if you need to just to, to make sure that that is an 8, it's supposed to be an 8 um, that you know where all these numbers are coming from and so if you do great let's keep going um, alright so now this Oh, I didn't write down the question. Oh, okay, so the fine or the the actual question. All right, so that's our question. What's the probability this person person has? There we go. Has a college degree given they voted. So what are we trying to find? What we want is the probability of C they have a college de degree given that they voted. Now it's time for Bayes' theorem. Okay, so Bayes' theorem goes like this. All right, so it's going to be the probability voted given you have a college degree. It's just these two flipped and then times the probability of a college degree. So you flip those two and then you actually just match up these. Uh, it's going to work that way every time. And then you're going to divide by... Okay, so you would rewrite this again. So voted given you have a college degree times the probability that you have a college degree plus. Now here's the thing is that you you want the probability that someone has a college degree given they voted. So we're dealing with the voted group. Well, these are the people who voted and have a college degree right here. This is, let me scroll down. All right, this represents the people who voted and have a college degree. So who are we missing? We're missing the people who voted but do not have a college degree. All right, because with the conditional probability, this, that's the probability someone voted and they do not have a college degree. Okay, because so remember that this, this question's restricting us to just people who voted. So that's why we need this extra part right here. All right, so that's the statement of Bayes' theorem. Now we just got to plug in all the numbers, and that's it. So let me, uh, let me scroll up a little bit, and then I'll scroll over to the right. Okay, so what are all the, the numbers we have? Uh, probability that you voted, given you have a college degree, should be 0.8. Probability that you voted or that you have a college degree is 0.08 divided by. All right, so same thing again, so 0 0.8 times 0 0.08 plus, and then we have the probability that you voted given you do not have a college degree, it's 0 0.55, times the probability that you do not have a college degree, that was 0 0.92, and there you go. That's the setup. Now we just have to you know, take out our calculator and, and compute that. All right, and when I do that, I get point, 
0.1122, which is roughly 11%. So you find out that someone vo uh, voted. What's the, what are the chances that that person has a college degree? 11%. All right, so that's it for this word problem. Uh, if you would like another word problem on Bayes' theorem, please request it.